Hey, Coach, uh, with the Clippers sticking with uh, Paul George and Kawhi Leonard late, w w any thoughts to put your starters back in the game? No, not at all. All right, next we'll go to Mike Singer. Mike, go ahead. Hey, Michael. I feel like oftentimes when we talk about Jeremy Grant, we usually address his defensive versatility. But do you feel like his offensive – uh, you know, switchability is overlooked. And what did you think he offered tonight? Yeah, I thought Jeremy was really good for us, uh, both ends of the floor. Uh, 25.6 rebounds. You know, obviously that, that's great when Jeremy gets those, those kind of rebounds. Uh, and I just liked how he was in attack mode, Mike. He was playing downhill, attacking the basket. Um, Three-point shot was working. Uh, I thought it was a great first half for us tonight. It was a very bad second half. Um, our starters in that third quarter, we gave up 40 points on, I think, 67% from the field. And that started with our starting group. So that was our challenge at halftime. You know, really good first half. Are we going to be satisfied or are we going to build on it? And uh, they turned up the pressure. They got into us. Uh, they took us out of our offense and they got whatever they wanted. So uh, disappointing second half. All right, next question, we'll go to Tim Bontemps with ESPN. Tim, go ahead. Hey, Mike, um, you guys are now locked into the third seed playing Utah in the first round. I was just curious what your thoughts were on that and if you have any sense yet of if you'll have everybody available when you play next week. Uh, no real thoughts. You know, I'll be honest, Tim. You know, we'll, we got Toronto on Friday. Uh, one last opportunity for us to try to put forth um, a full 48-minute effort. Uh, we've been really good in spurts. Uh, I thought in the first half, the defense was tremendous. Uh, second half, it was nowhere to be seen. So we'll get ready for Utah in due time, if that indeed is our matchup. Um, but I'm more worried about us. I'm more worried about the Toronto game. As far as guys being available, you know, I'll continue to talk to our training staff to see what the updates are uh, on Gary Harris, on Will Barton. Obviously, there are two starters for us. Uh, they mean a lot to us. And we hope we can get them back. And um, We'll just take it one day, day at a time in regards to uh, when we can get them back. But as far as right now, they're out, and uh, all the players have to step up on both ends of the floor. All right, next question, we'll go to Harrison Wind. Harrison, go ahead. Hey, Michael. Jeremy guarded Paul George tonight, also guarded Kawhi Leonard. His defensive versatility, I mean, you guys are going to see a lot of really offensively skilled wings in the playoffs. How valuable is just his defensive versatility going to be? Yeah, really valuable. You know, obviously, uh, right now we have the worst defense in the bubble uh, by a mile. And, you know, we need guys that can guard. Uh, too many guys right now are just uh, matadors. You know, we just get beat way too easy at the point of the ball. And Jeremy offers you a guy who's got tremendous size and length. Uh, you mentioned his versatility, something that we valued for a long time. So, you know, Jeremy's uh, role is going to be more pronounced as we move into the postseason. All right, next we'll go to Vic Lombardi again. Vic, go ahead. Coach, you said uh, you're more worried about us. Are you more worried about who's available to play, how you're playing, or both? Uh, more, more, obviously, um, definitely worried and concerned about Gary and Will, you know, because I've been with those guys for five years, and I know it's killing them not to be able to play and participate. So I am definitely worried about those guys. But, um, you know, worried about us, you know, just how we're playing. You know, um, we've had some really good moments. We've done some good things. But I, I think the word, Vic, that is uh, escaping us right now is just sustained effort. You know, we haven't been able to sustain it, I don't think, for long enough stretches, especially on the defense. We have one of the best offenses in the bubble. You know, uh, you know tonight you know, we shoot 49 from the field, 37 from uh, 311 points. We just can't stop anybody. And... Uh, we, we cannot have a mindset going forward that we're going to outscore teams in the playoffs. Uh, that is a losing formula. So hopefully we can find a way to understand that defense is going to uh, be a huge part of us trying to advance throughout these playoffs. All right, Coach, that'll do it. Thank you. I appreciate it.